What's going guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to be showing you guys what happens when you die in Sifu. Now Sifu is a new game by Slowclap, their previous game was Absolver, this is a complete massive step up. Now when you die in Sifu you get a tally of 1 and then you go from the age of 20 to 21 and then if you die again you get a tally of 2 and you go from 21 to 23 and so on and so forth. So if you've got a tally of 4 when you die at say 40, you won't go to 41, you'll go to 44. Now what I wanted to show you guys is, as of right now, I am 61 with 6 deaths. Obviously sometimes it does drop, that counter does drop and can often reset. I have some evidence here on the board, as you can see for the botanist. We have taken him out so far, and we've gained a series of evidence. Now I'm going to be showing you guys what happens to all this stuff, as well as your levels, when you completely die in this game. Now if I go back to the squats, I will go back to age 20. So we're going to go to the club, which is the next mission for me. Now we're here at the club at the age of 61. Now we're going to have a series of deaths. And you guys will see what happens when you completely die and run out of lives on this game. So as you see, the death tally went up by 7. So now we're going to hold that. And luckily it doesn't break, but we go up to the age of 68. So down we go again. Now we're 68 with 8 of those tally points. Now we can spend some XP. Uh, as you see here, You know, we've got, we've got quite a lot of XP up there actually. So I'm going to spend a couple of these bits here. And spend this here as well to use those. Because these ones you can use at an older age and so on and so forth. You can see the max age to unlock each of them as it scrolls down. So what you really want to do is start down there. But it is what it is. Now that is broke. That puts us to 76. And that is it. The game is over. You see there it says game over. Try again. So we have no other options there. We're 76. We've died. We had 8 death points. So had we died again, we would go up to 84, which has been far too old. I believe the oldest age is 80, but that is just off the top of my head. Now we try again. Now it says here. Now it says here, you'll lose your current progress. Shrines, bonuses, and skills not permanently unlocked will be lost. So we say try again. And there we go. So now we, we are back to... We'll go. We go back, so we've decided not to retry the mission. We've gone back to the, the home board here. Now, you can jump straight into that mission at the level that you died. So, for me, at the club, I would have jumped back in at level 61. Now, however, we're back at the home base. If we're just like, actually, no, I don't want to, you know, I want to have a bit more practice before I go in. We've kept everything on the detective board. However, we have lost all of our skills that were not permanently unlocked. We did, in fact, lose the moves that we unlocked. One of the ones I unlocked was the... Uh, the jumping knee of some kind. Uh, and we kept all of the evidence on the board. You can see here we still have this. We still have the X over the botanist. And then the character. We still have the structure reserve and the focus reserve that I did unlock through the first mission. So as long as you complete the level, you'll keep everything you've earned from that first level. But you'll lose everything that you've earned in that level that you die in. So as you see, back on the squats there, it says I'll start at age 20. I've got the squats there, the two keys, the 13 out of 17 clues. Now at the club, we'll go into the club at age 61, and we'll go and go and go and go. So obviously, you may enter some levels with literally the ability to only die once. So that means you may need to run the game back and try again and again and again until you improve that life expectancy. But I hope this helped a little bit, guys, on what you lose, what you gain, things like that. So I've just died again here. I've gone back into the club at age 61 and I've died again. Now, of course, you can see we have none of the moves we unlocked. The things I had were the strong sweep focus, the snap kick, and the spin hook kick. I have lost all of those. So I can do this to restart. That pushes us to the age of 68 yet again. Losing nothing from the previous one. We have just lost everything that we gained in terms of moves and permanent unlocks. And now we can fight back at a stronger age with more damage. But obviously we have less health because we are older. And then we can fight back a little bit. There we go. And gain a little bit of XP. And we can push on. But I hope this has helped, guys. Uh, for people that wanted to know what happens when you die in missions. Do you lose everything and have to restart the whole game? You don't. You just have to restart the level that you're on. But you will lose all of your moves. So that will affect you in the grand scheme of things. But I hope this was helpful. Uh, as always, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let me know if there's anything you want to know about Sifu. And I'll be sure to make a video on it very, very soon. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.